From a cosmic rock that predates the Earth itself to a mysterious structure buried beneath the desert sands, here are 10 secrets hidden in the Sahara that you won't believe. Number 10. A Cosmic Relic In 2020, a team of researchers in the Sahara have discovered what may be the rarest meteorite to ever land on our planet. The stunning piece of space rock is ancient, even when compared to our own solar system. Researchers weren't even looking for the meteorite when they found it. Nonetheless, they were quite shocked to unearth it. They took it back to the lab and found out that it dates back not a few thousand years, or even a few million years. Instead, the cosmic relic is approximately 4.56 billion years old. If this number doesn't quite sound right, that's because our planet is only 4.54 billion years old. That makes it older than the Earth. It's the most ancient space rock anyone has ever found. Scientists named the rock Ergchenk 002 or EC002 because they love catchy names. It was found in the Algeria region of the Sahara and it's been described by the Lunar and Planetary Institute as being coarse-grained, beige, a little yellow, a little green and covered in crystals. Based on the texture of the meteorite, it was probably formed from magma. This is quite different from most meteorites that are made of basalt. But you're probably wondering how a rock landed on Earth that is even older than Earth. From what scientists can gather, the meteorite probably came from a protoplanet, which is a large piece of rock yet to develop into a legitimate planet. It most likely formed when the solar system was only 2 million years old. The protoplanet was then probably destroyed violently by another, even larger piece of rock like Saturn or Jupiter, and this meteorite has been floating around ever since until it landed in the Sahara. Number 9. A Green Past Sabujadi is an archaeological site in the Nubian Desert, which is a part of the larger Sahara Desert, located between the Red Sea and the Nile. The dig site covers a large area and has a human history going back 10,000 years. Archaeologists have found over 1,500 rock drawings in the region, but have never determined when people first lived in the area, or even what life was like for these ancient people. However, scientists do know it wasn't always an inhospitable desert. There is actually proof of this in the ancient cave paintings, which show drawings of crocodiles, primitive boats, hippopotamuses, and a landscape very different to what the Sahara is now. Not only did the Sahara used to be a green paradise, but so too did most of Northern Africa. Dr. Bruce Williams has been working in Sudan in the desert for over 50 years, and he said that the area was once populated by people who herded cattle at a time when seasonal monsoons delivered so much rainfall that there were green and fertile plains rather than dust and death. Of course, the Sahara is at least 3 million years old, but seasonal monsoons kept it livable back then. The Nile was a great and surging river. The indigenous people had plenty to eat, and the whole place would have looked more like the savannas in Kenya and Tanzania today. The Sahara was populated by herds of gazelle, elephants, and even giraffes. So what happened? It's actually pretty simple. The climate changed. The monsoons stopped coming, the water stopped falling, the plants died, the animals left, and the humans went away. Number eight, ancient stone tools. Archaeologists have discovered hundreds of stone tools hidden in the Sahara that were once used by our ancient ancestors, Homo erectus. Archaeologists found the tools inside of a gold mine, but of course the ancient people would have lived inside the mine far before modern humans ever got to it and began extracting the gold. They would have lived there 700,000 years ago. The mine is located in the eastern region of the Sahara, far out in the middle of the desert, away from any habitable land. Studies have suggested that Homo erectus, which means upright man, came into existence about 2 million years ago and was the first species with the bodily proportions of a modern human. They were also the first species of human to have a flat face, a pointy nose, and less hair covering their bodies. These ancient people lived in the Sahara Desert back when it was a green paradise like we mentioned in the listing before. But the evidence of their lives is still hidden under thousands of square miles of shifting sands, with most, if not all, of their ancient cave settlements having already been reduced to dust thanks to the changing climate. As for the tools, archaeologists discovered a cleaver and other instruments made out of rock leading them to believe the mine may have been an extremely primitive manufacturing site from which a group of early people crafted tools, perhaps for the whole region. Number 7. Deadly Dinosaurs 
Long before Homo erectus ever stood on two legs, dinosaurs roamed the Sahara. According to a team of international researchers, the Sahara was in fact the deadliest place on our planet 100 million years ago. This was during a time when ferocious predators roamed free, killing indiscriminately. These predators included flying reptiles, crocodiles with legs, saber-toothed cat-like creatures over 24 feet or 7 meters long with serrated teeth and huge raptors that may have hunted in packs and ripped other dinosaurs limb from limb. But how did scientists discover that the Sahara had been such a dangerous place? It's all thanks to fossils from the Cretaceous period found in Morocco, known today as the Chemchem group. Fossils indicate that three of the biggest predatory dinosaurs of the Cretaceous lived in this exact spot, making the wilderness of the old Earth's Sahara a never-ending battle zone. According to Dr. Nizar Ibrahim with the University of Detroit Mercy, a human time traveler wouldn't last very long in this area, considering it was arguably the most unsafe location at any point in the history of the planet. But just wait, you may even recognize some of the monsters that lived here. The waterways would have been filled with coelacanths and lungfish, though the coelacanth would have been at least five times larger than the ones found recently. There would also have been sharks with teeth like daggers and even more terrifying nightmare monsters. Have you ever thought about what the world was like a hundred million years ago? Did you think it was like this? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Number 6. Ancient Christian Monks At one point in time, monks used to live in the Sahara Desert and now their secrets are being revealed. A Christian site dating back to the 5th century AD was recently found being eaten away by the desert sands. It was found in Egypt by a French and Norwegian archaeological team who have since been investigating the mysterious lives lived by monks far away from the rest of civilization. Researchers found 19 buildings, a church and biblical passages along with religious inscriptions. Even in the nowhere of the Sahara, Christianity found a foothold over 1500 years ago. Biblical passages were scrawled on the walls in Greek, there was Coptic graffiti found, and it's believed that the small community of monks operated in relative harmony until the 8th century. They also may have farmed animals and produced wine, which explains how they survived so long in the middle of nowhere. What this proves in historical terms is that even at the very edges of the Roman Empire, Christianity was thriving only 500 years after the alleged death of Christ. Number 5. The Eye of the Sahara the Eye of the Sahara is one of the greatest marvels on the planet. In simple terms, the Eye of the Sahara is a unique formation that dates back to Pangaea and was created because of rock movements over a period of 100 million years. The structure, which doesn't look exactly like an eye, it looks a bit more like a bullseye, was likely formed when the supercontinent Pangaea split apart. But you can't see this amazing formation from the ground. For it to be truly appreciated, it has to be seen from the sky. It was first photographed in the 1960s by astronauts and was often used as a point of reference during landing sequences. The original theory was that an asteroid had created a giant pit, seeing as it kind of looks like a crater from outer space. However, scientists have traced the rocks in the eye back to Pangaea. They found evidence that as the land broke apart and the Atlantic Ocean flowed inwards, and at the same time magma bubbled up from beneath the surface, the unique formation was born. To put it in plain English, eruptions and erosions formed various rings of sediment over a long stretch of time, resulting in what today looks like a huge alien eye in the middle of the desert. Number 4. Ancient Skeletons The Sahara Desert may be the location of what scientists say could be the oldest race war in history. A group of skeletons were discovered hidden under the sand of the desert dating back 13,000 years. The skeletons had been massacred around the year 11,000 BC. They were discovered with weapons made of flint, which researchers say were probably used to kill them. The skeletons were found grouped together in the Jebel Sahaba Cemetery, one of the earliest organized burial grounds ever used. The discovery came from northern Sudan, and at least 61 corpses have so far been exhumed. Only small clusters of dead bodies have been found throughout the Sahara up until this discovery. This was the first true graveyard. But it's not the graveyard that's so spooky. It's how and why all these people were massacred. Out of the 61 people found buried here, 45% of them had been killed by violence. There were fragments of arrows discovered, pieces of weaponry, and some shards of flint even found still embedded in bones. The bones also showed cut marks suggesting slashing weapons. But what is this about a race war? Scientists believe the fighting probably broke out because of some environmental disaster. 
The disaster forced small groups of nomadic people to band together for safety. This resulted in overcrowding and anger between the different races, and this probably erupted in a war between the different factions, leaving a large group of them brutalized and buried in the desert. Number three, mysterious pterosaurs. There are dragons hidden in the Sahara Desert. At least the closest thing the Earth has ever seen to dragons. Researchers recently found three new species of flying reptiles that lived here 100 million years ago. A community of flying reptiles known as pterosaurs were discovered by an international team of scientists from the University of Portsmouth. They were toothed pterosaurs that were part of a river ecosystem rich in prehistoric life. The fossils of the winged monsters have proved that the pterosaurs that lived in the Sahara were very similar to those found in other places throughout the globe. But just exactly what were the pterosaurs? These animals were flying apex predators. They dominated the sky and feasted on all kinds of different creatures. They usually snatched up prey while flying using their spiky teeth. They would have been kind of similar to birds today, like condors and albatrosses, only much larger and significantly more violent. If you think seagulls are annoying, imagine trying to enjoy a day at the beach with a flying reptile the size of a car that could literally snatch you off your blanket and eat you in mid-air. Number two, hidden underground structure. A mysterious structure has just been spotted hiding under the sand in the Sahara Desert, and some claim it could be a secret pyramid. This structure is allegedly beneath the sand of the Egyptian part of the Sahara near Saqqara. Based on satellite images, experts believe there could be multiple pyramids hidden out in the middle of nowhere in places nobody has ever thought to look. Unfortunately, this news has not been authenticated by mainstream scientists. Usually when someone discovers something like a pyramid hidden underground by using satellite images, they get dismissed as a crackpot. But there could be some truth to the claim. After all, the desert sands are known for wiping away the most solidly built structures. It's not that far-fetched to believe the Egyptians crafted unknown pyramids farther from Giza, which over the past few thousand years was submerged by sand. Number one, it's growing. A new study has revealed something shocking about the Sahara. This isn't so much about what's hidden in the Great Desert, but more about what will soon be swallowed by the unstoppable sands of the largest desert on Earth. This study came from scientists at the University of Maryland, funded by the National Science Foundation. They discovered that since 1920, the Sahara has expanded by roughly 10%. That means in just one century, the desert has gotten about 10% larger. What this news suggests is that as summer in Africa gets hotter and the rainy seasons get shorter, the desert will continue to spread primarily to the south, but not only the Sahara. Other deserts around the world may also be expanding at similar rates. But what does this mean for the future? It means that in a thousand years, researchers could be re-excavating the Giza pyramids, or even the city of Cairo after invincible winds of sand bury all of Egypt. Of course, this is an extreme interpretation, though not entirely out of the question. The truth is that climate change, whether brought on by humans or as a part of the natural climate cycle, can cause northern Africa to get drier. The drier it gets, the vaster the desert grows. Thanks for watching. What else do you think is hidden in the Sahara? Let me know in the comments and be sure to hit the subscribe button and check out more awesome videos from the channel. Bye!